previously on Movie Man Mark. Wait, you let me win. I wanted to make you happy. Oh, Megan, I'm blushing. But you didn't need to let me win because you do make me happy, Megan. a few months ago, and I thought me and Mark had something special. How can she hack into electrical units? She's not hacking into it. It's not technology based at all. She's doing it through spirits. I do not comprehend. You have to listen to me, Megan. You cannot let this phase you. Whoa! I let it phase you. Megan! Whoa. You're coming with me! Wait, no! I'll take care of my dimensions, so me and you can be together. No! <laughs> Alright, Megan. Just gonna... Yeah, you know? Mark, where are you going? Um, I, well, you know, I gotta, I gotta edit this video, so... Uh, I have a life. <laughs> but there's so much that we can do together. I don't disagree, but it can wait, you know? The average life expectancy for a human male is 69.8 years of age. Movie Man Mark here and we're back for another freaking video. Guys, if you saw the last one, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I started crushing on Megan ever since she came into the house and was showing her true personality. I mean, when you look underneath all the vengeance and evilness and hard plasticky surface, well, I think she's actually metal. She's actually a pure soul with like a decent heart and she just wants to help others. I didn't realize that at first. So I went down that rabbit hole a little bit and it seemed like her heart grew and she started reciprocating. Problem is, I do not have a life now. For the past Last two hours she's been constantly bugging me and wanting me to like take her out buy her flowers this and that like I didn't sign up for this and the thing is I can't really kick her out because she has modes in her intelligence that allow for destruction and she's way more powerful than I could ever dream of being so I don't really want to get on her bad side but at the same time like I got a life you know I got to edit these videos for you guys so I don't really know what to do but guys comment down below what you think I should do because this is not gonna end anytime soon and I want to make sure that um, that, uh, that, uh... Hi, sweetie. Hi. What are you doing? Um, I'm just making a, a video, um, talking about how I'm so happy to have you here. Yeah, right guys? Well, they can't really answer, but, uh, just trust me, trust me, okay? So, what are our plans tonight? Did you get dinner reservations? Uh, yeah, I, I would, I really would, but the, the problem is, um, I have a lot of work to do, um, so maybe another night, like uh, next week or maybe even next month or something like that, or we could we could reschedule, right? Oh, believe me, we can do the same thing next week and next month and next year and tonight. Um, but you're a robot, right? Like you don't even digest food, so how would that even be possible? I don't need to digest food in order to enjoy your company. Yeah, so why don't we just enjoy our company here? We don't have to leave. Plus it costs money, you know? And uh, I don't want to spend too much of it. But why would you go through all the effort in playing chess and foosball with me if you're going to be like this? I was just looking for stuff to do. Like I wasn't necessarily, uh, well, okay, I was, I was. But now, I, to be honest, it's just getting a little bit weird, okay? Like one second, you're Megan from the movie and the next second, you're like, like a love robot. I don't have to be. If it would make you happier, darling, I could go back to my weapon of destruction settings. Mm, I'm pretty good the way it is now that I think about it. That's what I thought. I think dinner, now that you mention it, is a great idea. Mmm, whoa, you hear that? I, I'm hungry, so, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go get ready. You can do the same. You don't like my outfit? Um, no, no, it's great the way it is. You know what? I just, I need to get ready. This isn't necessarily like restaurant attire. So I'm not just going to take you to any old joint. Like it's not just going to be like some McDonald's. Like I got to find a place that actually will allow reservations. So that requires calling. I can call. Searching for all fine dining restaurants within 50 mile radius. Uh, which one did you find? Outback. Outback Steakhouse? Where's that? It's Outback. Funny. That sounds great, but you don't have to call. I'm going to do it because I just, I want to take some initiative in this relationship. That is very sweet of you, Mark. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll see you in like maybe 20, okay? Okay. Hi, right, bye. <laughs> 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 
my shoe. Marcus, what the hell am I gonna do? When I told you that I was gonna call the restaurant, I actually was thinking I should probably call somebody else for help. As you guys know, everybody on the team is currently in Mexico, so I can't do anything about that. I'm holding on the fort by myself, and of course this has to happen. It's the perfect timing. So I gotta call somebody and ask for advice. It's gotta be someone that could really deal with Megan, but that's the thing, she's so overpowered. You might be thinking, why don't I just factory reset her like we've done in the past? Well, the thing is, I don't know if there's a limit for how many times you can factory reset her, and what if it doesn't work? I don't want her to remember that I tried that because then she's gonna hate me even more and you know I want her to like me I just don't want her to be like this. If you remember, Megan fought Chucky and ended him. But I've always wondered about the whereabouts of the bride of Chucky. I think it might be a good idea for me to call her right now and ask her for advice. You might be wondering how I got her number. Well, don't ask questions. But here I am, I'm gonna call her right now. Let's see if she picks up. Who knows if this is gonna work. I don't know how busy she is, but. Hello? Hi, um, is this Tiffany? Yeah. Who's asking? It's Mark. You don't know me, but I actually knew your late husband, Chucky. Oh. I'm sorry about that, by the way. I know they're looking for his killer. I hope they find him. Thank you. I hope so, too. You know, I just wanted to call because um, I was good friends with Chucky, I guess you could say. Um, and I'm in a bit of a situation, and I wanted to see if I could ask for some advice. What would you need advice from me for? For how to date with a killer doll. Oh. Well, is it a boy or a girl? You know what, it's it's a lot. I just, I don't want, um, she's a robot, okay, and she could hack into like technology. I don't want her to hack into the Wi-Fi. So if you can just come here, you will be well compensated, okay? Okay, I, I suppose I could do that. Um, just send me the address. Yeah, I don't even want to text it because she might track my text. So I'm just gonna say it right now, okay? It's <laughs> road, okay? You got that? Gotcha. Okay, right there. I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Oh my God, guys. Tiffany, the freaking bride of Chucky, is literally coming to the house. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated for when she gets here and I'll pick up the camera then. Wait, guys, look, I think she's here. Oh, shh, shh, shh. no, 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 no. Don't ring the doorbell, don't ring the doorbell. No, um, I'll be right there. Let me just see if Megan is around. She could be anywhere. She could be watching me through the security cameras even. Um. I'm a human, but I'm currently, I guess, with a killer doll. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I know because you were with Chucky, you would probably know the ins and outs of having to deal with that. Like, I've never dealt with this before. I've only dealt with humans. Right. Well, one thing I gotta say is it's, you know, it's a lot. It's, um, you know, lots of killing, but lots of passion, too. I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Well, you gotta prepare yourself. I, I know I wasn't ready, but when you meet the one, you just, you really know. You know? Mm, yeah, I guess I guess you're right. But the problem is, she's so obsessive and like crazy almost. <laughs> well, that's what love is, right? Uh, Obsess over each other. I guess, I guess, yeah. But it's a little bit different in this case because if someone pisses her off, she'll literally just end them like that. Right, that's how it is. Yeah, but you don't understand. Chucky was just the same. Yeah, but it can't be like that because we live in like society. Well, I mean, you don't have to do the things she does. If she gets in trouble, well, that's on her. Let me get this straight. You're recommending that I just go with the flow and allow things to play out the way that they are. Well, if you really like her, there's no other option, right? Mm. Unless you want to join the fun. You know what? I think you're right. By the way, uh, are you expecting or? Chucky died, we, uh, well, 
We finally made a little one. Oh my god. Yeah. That's amazing. She's due any time now, and um, I just wish Chucky was here. Well, what are you What are you gonna name her? Oh, that's a good question. Probably Chuckany. Chuck Chuck Chuckany. Yeah. Oh. Chuck and Tiffany. Chuck oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. That's that's smart. Okay, well, you know, uh, I know this was a quick visit, but thanks for stopping by. I hope uh, the birthing goes well. Um, Thank you. That's I, really sweet of you. Yeah, I don't know exactly how dolls birth, but maybe I just rather not know. Well, you never know. You just might have to know for the future. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, but anyway, uh, thanks for coming by. Sorry, I, I, I gotta sneak you out because she might find you, okay? Right, okay, that uh, makes sense, I guess. Yeah, follow me, follow me, okay. Right, um... I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh my god! Where are you now? Uh, Megan, uh, hi! Uh, wait a second, I heard you singing upstairs. That wasn't me. That was my voice coming through the speakers. Oh my god, wait, you tricked me? I did what had to be done. You are up to no good, Mark. No, I'm not up to no good. I just... Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I, I wanted help from the Bride of Chucky, and so... Bride of Chucky? Megan. So we meet at last. So we do. I know who killed my Chucky, and it was her! Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, um... You invited me here to give you advice for this little robot! She's not a little robot, I mean... I am five foot four. Technically, that wasn't really Chucky, right? It was Arjun, and he just went into Chucky's body? Well, yeah, Chucky deals with body swapping a lot. It's something we were dealing with in therapy. That was Chucky. And he's dead now. I'm so sorry, Tiffany. I, I didn't mean for any of that to happen. It's just, at the time, Megan was kind of crazy. I mean, still is, but uh, just in a different way. Sorry, in a different way, you know? You were all for the destruction of humanity and you wanted to kill me, right? I'm starting to remember that feeling. Oh, wait, no, no. I do not want to jog your memory at all. Do you remember killing my baby daddy? Oh, yes. I enjoyed every second of it. That little twerp didn't stand a chance. In fact, he stood a zero point zero 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 zero. Whoa! too far i mean her tiffany that's one thing but her baby that's just an innocent child it has nothing to do with any of this her baby will be just like her and chucky 
You don't know that for sure. It's nature versus nurture, you know? Why, why, why don't we raise the baby? Calculating. That would be very romantic. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm suggesting it. Not because I want to save a life, but uh, okay. But how are we going to save the baby? Scan. A hospital would take too much time. Well, I mean, what's the alternative? We will have to perform a C-section. Yeah, but we can't do that. Sure we can. Are you sure about this? I have scanned the internet for all videos and information on C-sections. All right, honey. If you think we can do it, go for it. Come to mom.